Today we're going to be looking at how you can start doing pull-ups for yourself, whether you can't even do one now. It's the goal to get you from zero to 10 plus, whether you're a beginner, whether you want to do them at home or in the gym. I'm going to demonstrate now at home and I'm going to show you the equipment. So this is what I personally use at home. This is a doorway pull-up bar. Now what you do is you would basically open this up and it fits onto the door like this. So it go there, fit like that. Now let's just say right now you can't do a single pull-up. Depending where you are with your body right now, it's going to determine how fast you can accelerate with this. And what I mean by this is, as you probably know, pull-ups is like a bodyweight exercise. And let's just say you have quite a bit of body fat and you don't have much strength yet. You've not really started resistance training. So you're basically trying to pull all of this weight up, which is body fat. It's going to be more difficult to get those reps. So what a lot of people do is when you start off, they might start off with quite a high body fat and as they drop body fat and build strength at the same time, they'll find that they'll accelerate in the amount of reps that they can do. Whereas if you don't have much body fat and basically your body fat is pretty low, really all you're looking to do is just build on strength. So before we even get into one rep, you're gonna to want to understand how important hand positioning is and for how, more, how much more difficult it makes each rep. So let's give an example. So the wider you go, basically on the grip, it's gonna be harder to do. So the wider your arms, the harder it is to do the pull up. And they generally say the wider that you go, the more it targets the back and it takes most of the other muscles out of play. So the wider you go, the more they say it does hit the lats, but the harder it is to do. So if you were to do this one, that variation is a lot easier than the wide one. And the closer you come again, so you could do this one. Generally, it gets easier because you can use more of your other body muscles. Good rule of thumb for beginners is don't try too wide. Start off with what's most comfortable and you can get more strength behind your body. A variation of the pull-up is the chin-up. And this is easier because it brings the biceps into play. So a chin up is like this. It's just the underhand grip. It uses the biceps and it is a lot, lot more easier to do. So for beginners, it could be a good idea to start trying to do a chin up before you do a pull up. This is going to still develop the back muscles. Now let's get into the reps of the pull up. So you can't do one pull up. Here's how I would start. I remember when I couldn't do a pull up, I would start with something called negatives or static holds. And all you would do is you would aim to either hold your body weight at the top and lower very slowly. As you can see, even just by doing a few negatives, my heart rate has shot up. It is still very taxing on the body even to do that. However, what you'll find is usually most people's problem is the fact that they can't pull themselves up. And they will actually find that the negative part of it is the easier part of the exercise. However, that is also the part which does actually bring the most benefit in terms of progression because of time under tension. Now, another progression you can use is to basically get some bands and you hook them on and you're gonna use them to put your feet into and basically you can they assist you in taking some of your body weight out of the movement. This is a form of assisted pull-up. It allows you to do the reps, but assisted. So that paired with the negatives is going to help you with both parts of the movement the negative, the lowering, and the contracting, which is the pulling up. So the goal here is simple progression. If you can't do one, get to one. Once you get to one, get to two. Once you get to two, get to three. Also, as you build this muscle strength, 
If your body fat is too high, aim to start lowering that body fat and that is really gonna help you accelerate these reps. So as you build strength and you're also losing this weight which you're having to carry on the bar, it's also going to accelerate your reps. For those of you that want to know more about this bar, I'll put a link in the description. It's gonna be an Amazon link. You can go check it out. I do recommend this bar. It is very, very sturdy and I feel safe when I'm using it.